Hello, hi, I'm Nawaz, and uh, we are now going to the somehow advanced level, and today we will cover um, master child forms in Microsoft Access. We will learn how to create a master child master detail forms in Microsoft Access database so it's uh, an easy way <coughs> and let's uh, start it first of all click on the employee database to create master detail forms or master child forms we should have two table we have already created one table so we will create another table the name of the table which we will create will be uh, children detail employee children uh, this table will contain information about the children of the employee so let's start to create children employee children table click on create click on table design here type id make it select the data type number because number will be stored here Remember ID is also in the employee profile. The same column is in the is available in the employee profile table. So this is the number, the data type of this field is number and the data type of the ID in employee profile table is also ID. We, we must have same data type okay then name of the child this table will contain information about the children of the employee each employee can have one or more children therefore <coughs> we will make a table which will contain all the children of each employee name of the child select data type as short sex is it okay it's uh, fine now save this table click on save button change the name of the table employee children click on ok click on no there is no primary key so this message is about is tell us is telling us that we have not uh, mark any field as primary key so leave it click on no we will discuss in detail at the later stage okay now save it it has been saved now you will see employee children table created and you can see it on the left side of the microsoft access on the left side pane. Now close this table. If we have now two table. One is employee profile, is another is a employee children. Employee profile would contain information about each employee, while employee children will contain information about the children of the employee. So if you want to make master 
detail form or master child form the the main table employee profile table must have primary key because there would be a relationship between these two table there will be one record about uh, each employee in the employee profile while there will will be one or more records of the children of the employee in the employee children uh, table there is a relationship for one to many one mean one employee and many means one employee can have many children so for one record there will be multiple records so the, on the master form there will be one record of a employee you will see that there will be one time record of the employee available on the master or main form and when we can create the another the child or detail form it will have many it may uh, one or many uh, record link with the main table of the employee profile now don't worry don't confuse yourself uh, practically you will see how these are linked together how multiple forms are created so now start it from the employee profile right click on it click on design and select this id and then right click on it and select primary key you see there you can see this icon which shows that this field has been marked as my primary key now save save the table okay now close it close it this is important now we have mark employee profile as a main table having primary key this primary key remember that primary key cannot be repeated it should be unique like id card number or roll number two employee cannot have the same id each employee must have unique id okay now we will we are going to create a master detail form click on create then click on form wizard okay form wizard if we have more uh, if we want to link more tables we must use form wizard so click on it first select the main table employee profile okay so when you select the employee profile this table you will see the columns are filled of this table below here id name father name salary date of birth so you must move this these all columns here if you move it basically uh, this option is basically uh, for the reason that uh, if you want to if you want all the fields to be displayed on the form or us one or two or three field if you leave any field here it will not be displayed on the form simply then click on the next okay one thing i am going to cancel it uh, one thing that i am um, i am forgetting 
we should create relationship it's very important to create relationship okay because the relationship is telling microsoft access that there is a relationship between the tables so before putting the forms putting the tables on the form as a master uh, detail form we must create relationship okay to create relationship click on the relationship icon data first select database tools and relationships when you click on it you will show their uh, window select the table among which you want to establish a relationship okay select both table both click on add then okay and click close now what you will do now the tables are here and we can see the field and columns in each table what you would do to create relationship select the id because id and id is and both the columns are same having the same data type so select id and drag it to and uh, drag and leave it on the this id okay and then create and then click on create to create relationship now relationship has been now created okay again i am telling you what you will do uh, click this one and leave it on on this id and please also take mark these things i shall let you know i shall explain each and everything to you in detail click on create okay you will see that these the, the this mark it shows the relationship uh, between two tables one too many this is one and this is on the left side the sign this is basically for the many one too many relationship okay then click on save and cross click on cross okay now we are going to create multiple forms master detail form okay. click on create click on uh, form wizard okay move all to this form then select okay now because uh, i want to see all these fields on the form if i want any field that should not be displayed i shall remove it from here through this arrow okay so i'm leaving it now i also need to display fields from the employee so select employee and and move this to the oh, and, and move to this area okay then click on next click next next click on finish here you have seen that master detail form has been created now this is one time record for each employee now i can add many now i can add the detail of the children against each employee for example this is john this is record number one this is the employee richard whose father name is david richard has one or two has two so let's suppose has two children now i am adding the detail of these children john has sex sex is a male okay julia is a female 
Okay, no problem. If I if I want to add children and the detail of the children for the next employee, so I will click here next record. Click on here on next record. You see the detail of the Romeo appeared. Now again I can this is the way how to create master detail form it's an easy way uh, so hopefully you have learned it now for the next in the uh, video i shall explain the advanced feature uh, of the form so thank you for watching this uh, video kindly subscribe to the channel click on bell icon so that you receive my videos and training on a regular basis thanks